Hello and welcome to my third hobby vlog. Um, again, carrying on from last week, this is some more scenery I'm going to be doing. And at the moment it just looks like big bits of polystyrene um, on the 60 mil bases. However, this will change um, as I have one of these. Um, a really nice tool. Really, really simple to use. Um, let me just swap hands. And it's a hot wire foam cutter. And these will hopefully become rocks. Um, taking some inspiration from the Fellowship of the Ring journey book. Um, and if I can just show you, this wire heats up within like two seconds. You might be able to see a little bit of smoke coming off. And this is how easy it is. Just like that. Turn it off. There it is. It's a bit gone where there was a corner. Um, it's that simple. So the aim is to sculpt some of these into rocks. Um, again, to fit in scenic terrain so we can have some rocky terrain rather than just woodland terrain. Um, and just to have some rocks dotted about if needed. Um, that's the plan. I don't know whether I'll get these finished this week. Um, the aim is going to be the, the woodland bases itself. Um, because I've got all the trees are all sorted and all ready. That's the next plan. And then scenery wise after that will probably be some ruins. Um, completely revamp um, some ruins I've got or just ditch them and make a whole lot of new ones. As I have lots of um, foam like this. It's uh, just insulating foam. So that will be the plan. Um, and still working on my Warriors Minister Earth. Um, I need to get the archers finished this week otherwise they'll just be sat on my desk for ages. You've joined me quite a bit later and I haven't I've been doing bits and pieces here and there so I haven't filmed all of it. Um, but firstly I want to show you these and these will be area terrain once I'm done and you can see the 60mm and the 40mm holes that's for the trees and some of these little bases I've made. Um, of the small trees left over I um, put between 3 and 5 on a 60mm base and um, then I'm going to be able to slot them in here to make areas of woodland terrain um, and then on a similar, but they need to be, like the, the holes need to be sanded out and made a slightly bit bigger which I'm going to do this evening and then next you will have, you will have seen the rocks but they've got, these four have got a base colour on and this one and that one I've finished and it's just using simple Wilkinson's paint um, I'm probably going to do a how to video because I'm making a lot of stuff and doing a lot of painting Ooh. and it's really simple um, it's just polystyrene and then using a hot wire foam cutter and then just dry brushing different layers of grey on and I think it really pops and it really looks good on camera which I've just realised um, so those two are very good um, I'm going to do the same on these some of them have got a few more like smaller rocks underneath um, I'm going to put flock and everything similar to the bases on my trees um, so that so that they all tie in and they can slot into these bases as well so you have areas of rocky rocky outcrops, areas of woodland um, that's the plan and I will come back once I've done a bit more work on these rocks so you join me back where I've done a very liberal not dry brush of sorts but heavy heavy brush on it um, but you can still see the nice deep dark recesses um, in all of them which makes it really suddenly suddenly come alive um, and then I like to put uh, two more two more extra colours on two more greys um, the one on the left I will show you now is the dark, is the one I've just applied and then that's the next one and then finally just catching the very edges and I think it really really brings them to life um, and really will help make our boards seem a hell of a lot more involved 
because that's what we want. We want lots of terrain and able to chop and change it all the time, constantly having more and more stuff. So here we are, the paint's still drying, but all the rocks are up. And I think they've got a nice jagged, I'm not sh entirely sure about some of the formations, um, but I think they've got a nice jagged look to them and they'll definitely be line of sight blockers and um, terrain to walk, get past. But I think the multiple layers of, of grey really, really bring it out and they're really quick to do. I didn't quite realise how fast I would get them done. So that's literally an evening's work. Um, if that it could take an hour, well the main the main bit is letting the dark the dark grey slash brown dry and then after that they can all be dry brushed within the space of 20 minutes um, and it all comes out nice nice and bright nice and vivid um, I'm going to do some 40 mil bases with rocks on as well um, some higher ones some low ones so like I said we can use these and have um little formations of rocks and and trees um, and hopefully that shouldn't take me too and we come back when I finish these four arches um, it's very simple oh, there we are um, it's, it's similar to my sister's old guard um, the only difference is when I applied the um, Stormhost Silver as the final kind of top layer, it seemed very, very bright because there's a lot of silver. Um, so all I did was mix um, a one to three ratio, one part non oil and two parts, uh, three parts water, um, and just ran it over and just let it um, sit because it, it brings out some of the darker recesses in the plate metal. And it doesn't make it so bright. This guy's um, completely dry and finished. He was a test one. And it's come out really, really well. So all the others are going to be like that. And it just kind of offsets that really bright silver very slightly. Because it's not too fantasy. Um, and next, and I've also um, graveled up the bases on my rocks. And I'm going to do the bases similar to the um, trees. So that's the plan next, is to get some of that done. And you join me back after some of my um, modular woodland, rocky, outcrop, terrain pieces. Um, I've had the gravel applied. Um, and once that is all dry, they'll be painted brown like the, like the rest of the, um, like the rest of the trees. And have some flock on some of the areas, maybe some darker flock, I might put some more darker flock on the trees as well um, just to give it a little different different nuances, I probably should have done darker flock under the trees in the first place um, however I think it will become however I think it will look quite good um, just having that darker area so you can see that that part is actually woodland terrain I'm not going to um angle the edges of these just so we know we, for gaming it'll be easier and it'll be a difficult process um, I'm not entirely sure of the most efficient way to do it, um, this is a hill I made a while back as well that I need to um, that I need to flock and paint um, but apart from that, that's what I've been doing. Um, like I said, I've finished the four arches. So I'm uh, an eighth of the way. Eighth? Or sixth of the way through all my Warriors of Minas Tirith. And this is my desk, which is currently a little bit messy. So here we are. Um, and I've flocked up quite a lot of the bases, um, all six to be precise. And they're all in a similar vein to um, my trees and clumps of trees and my rocks that are sat over there. Um, so these have become very useful for woodland terrain and rocky outcrops and features. Um, 
and you're going to wait for the flock to dry maybe put some more in, some different colours add a bit of bushes, add a bit of just life um, I think I'm not entirely sure maybe put some more grass around the edges so it doesn't look like patchwork as such um, but I'm very happy with the how they're turning out so far I'm very happy with that I thought of the idea to make everything a little bit modular um, it will provide a lot more variety in our games and a lot more um, just different action and I'm really looking forward to seeing it on the table really really looking forward to it I just need to get this hill done next I think hill done, maybe another hill um, so we've got a bit of variety um, I've got plans done in the pipeline for huge projects, scenery projects f inspired by um, the Battle Games of Middle Earth books uh, magazines even but they're a long way off and they'll require a good week or so of planning um, but at the moment this is the carnage that is my desk um, and it's currently there we are, 20 to 2 in the morning I have hockey in the morning as well so I'm going to leave this and probably do a few more archers over the weekend just to get them done now all the uh, rocks and stuff are done and I'm going to talk to Luke um, to see what he wants to do with the rest of these bases and see if they need a bit more so now you join me on our board in my conservatory um, and this is the bases so far um, just going to be with the trees in um, and you can see how I want it all to be um, a little modular I've just got to sort out this big 60 mohawks it just, it's not quite there um, but that will be too easy fix um, and you can see how it looks this is how I wanted it to be you can you can see the, the joins and the holes and whatever but not massively clearly um, I think I'm going to put some more darker leaves around um, some darker flock around the edges I think um, just just to incorporate it more into the um, sort of work in the board um, this is a the six that I have done I'm trying to get some more done um, I'm thinking about maybe in the future if people want me to build stuff for them maybe doing a little maybe having a little bit of commission um, not entirely sure just want to get stuff sorted for myself for a minute um, but I'm thinking about adding some some kind of bushes and stuff on, on the bases so it would be much more woodland and just make it look a little bit more pleasing to the eye um, I'm happy with, really happy with how they turned out so far, but I um, want that little bit more to make it really, really pop. So we'll see. To finish my hobby vlog this week, I um, completed the last four arches. So if we just bring them across here quickly. I have... Eight fully painted minus two earth arches, um, all with eyes in the same level of detail. I'm really happy with how they turned out. Um, Highlighting up the individual panels of armour, then giving them another wash just to dull them down very, very slightly. But all in all, happy with that. So, if you've liked the content this week, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'm not entirely sure what my plans for next week are, um, but there'll definitely be probably some more scenery and um, a few more models. Probably something a bit different. Um, so yeah, like I say, comment, like, share, and subscribe, and we will see you soon.